Hi everyone, I'm Nick, and this is the Platinum Wireless headset for the PlayStation 4. This headset improves upon the Gold headset from Sony, with a much more premium look and feel, better sound, and 3D audio. Now this headset's designed specifically for the PlayStation 4. It'll work with your other devices using the supplied audio cable, but you'll lose out on the surround sound and some other features. The Platinum headset also comes with a premium price tag compared to the $99 Gold headset. You can pick up this one for $159. Inside of the box you get the headset, the wireless adapter that plugs directly into the front of the PS4. This one's not Bluetooth, it uses a proprietary 2.4GHz connection instead. You get a micro USB cable to charge, a 3.9 foot audio cable to use this with other devices, a quick start guide, and a travel pouch. The Platinum headset is made of mostly plastic, but it borrows the metal top that can be found on Sony's extra bass Bluetooth headphones. Instead of leather padding, Sony uses a rubber strap that does a good job at keeping these in place. The rubber strap does put more pressure on the top of my head than most other headsets though. These feel lightweight, but I do feel the weight on the top of my head. The rest of the headband is plastic on both sides, with hinges that allow these to fold up. A lot of people complained of the hinge breaking on the gold headset, but Sony seems to have made the hinge more substantial. It certainly feels more solid and it's not as flimsy. Each of the ear cups are covered in plastic that have a brushed texture. This plastic is a fingerprint magnet though, and it easily shows smudges. The ear cups slide up and down to adjust the size, and they'll pivot up, down, left, and right. The padding's very soft, but these do get a little warm. The drivers are angled, just like they were on the gold headset, and I'm not a huge fan of this. Even though they're angled, they still press up against my ear slightly. Otherwise, they're very comfortable. The clamping force seems just right to me. They're stable on your head without too much force. All of the controls are on the rear of the ear cups. On the left ear cup is a 3.5mm audio jack, if you'd like to use these wired. You can use this headset with pretty much anything, but it'll be stereo only. Next to that is the micro USB port to charge, volume buttons, there's a mute button for the mic and there's also a side tone feature that lets you hear your own voice. Using a long press you could toggle the side tone feature between low, high, or turn it off completely. There's the power button that toggles between mode 1 and mode 2. Mode 1 is standard and mode 2 is bass boost mode. You can customize each mode using the headset companion app, which I'll go over in a minute. There's an LED indicator for power, status, and charging, and next to that is the sound chat button, which adjusts the balance between the chat volume and the game sound. Over to the right ear cup, you have a single control to toggle between the virtual surround sound and stereo. Everything feels solid, the plastic doesn't creak, and the buttons feel good to press. My only nitpick with the build quality is that the power button jiggles slightly, and that noise is amplified when it's on your head. I can hear it jiggle if I move my head suddenly, or lean my head back against the couch. This is a very minor annoyance, but otherwise the build quality is very good, and these feel much better than the gold headset. Sony doesn't state the battery life on these, which is kind of weird, but I've seen people saying that they've been getting around 13 hours. I would say that's pretty accurate, as I've been using these for days now, and I haven't had to charge them yet. I'll keep you updated on that after I charge these a few times. The virtual surround works really well at simulating 7.1 channel audio, but it's not as accurate as an actual 7.1 channel setup. As someone who has a 7.1 setup in my living room, this headset does an amazing job with surround, but you don't truly get the sense that sounds are directly in front or behind you like you would on dedicated speakers. As far as virtual surround goes, this is as good as any headset out there. And with Sony's 3D audio, which currently can only be found on Uncharted 4 at the moment, you get simulated sound above and below you as well. And Uncharted 4 really does sound amazing on these. The virtual surround brings everything to life, Toggling it between surround and stereo makes a huge difference. The stereo just seems flatter and the 3D just pops more. The virtual surround seems to be boosting the dialogue depending on the distance of the character and widening everything up. Compared to the gold headset, the sound is improved overall, most noticeably in the low end. Kicks hit harder and there's more presence of deep bass. These sound very natural overall, there isn't a big boost on the low end, but the second preset is bass boost by default, which you'll probably want if you like more bass. The 50mm drivers sound great with music too. Bass is defined and accurate without sounding boomy. Kick drums hit hard, vocals are detailed and highs are clean even at full volume. Movies sound awesome on these too. Some other headsets I've tested can struggle with deep bass but these stay clean. Dialogue is easy to understand and action sequences really come to life with these. And then there's the companion app, which is a great feature of the Sony headsets. 
This free app from the PlayStation Store gives you a variety of preset EQ modes that are designed for games like Last Guardian, Watch Dogs 2, Uncharted 4, and MLB The Show. And I'm sure they'll add more games in the future. There are presets for shooters and fighters, a handful of movie and music presets, and custom EQ which you can assign to the first or second position of the power switch. You can really customize this to your liking if you want more low end or bring up the treble for a brighter sound. This really puts it above other headsets, although it's only available on the PlayStation 4. You lose the EQ if you use this with any other device. So the Platinum headset won't give you the accuracy of dedicated rear speakers, but the virtual surround adds ambience and quiet scenes where you'll hear the hum of fluorescent lights or rain in the distance and really sound like you're in the middle of battle and shooters. So here's what the mic sounds like. There isn't a boom mic, so you don't have to worry about that being in your way or detaching it when you're not using it. Instead, there are two microphones on the front left ear cup, which will cancel out background noise, and it does a good job with that overall. A lot of other mics make it sound like you're in the distance, but the quality of this mic is very good. So that wraps it up. I really like the Platinum headset. It's got a solid build quality, and I like the design, Sound is top notch and the virtual surround is amazing. And the companion app gives you some control of the sound. If you're looking for a wireless headset for the PlayStation 4, I'd say this is the one to get. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and hit the like button if you like this video. Please make sure to subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this and thanks to everyone for watching.